Ladies, gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, mesdames, 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 señores y señoras. Here we are once again, it is Craft Cup time. Craft Cup number 25 on the US servers. We got Chance against Angry here in this pretty, pretty entertaining best of five final series. We got Chance here spawning at the top left location as the blue Zerg, this time not again at the pink Zerg. We got Angry spawning here as the red Terran on the bottom right. So I'm a little bit disappointed that we do not see, uh, that we see Jungle Basin at the last final map. Not sure which maps um, chance are um, voted down, so we still had uh, Jungle Basin in the map pool. So let me explain the uh, map down voting process. So we have nine maps in the map pool. Then each um, player can vote down a map he does not want to play on. So the last five remaining maps uh, is. Uh, consider the map rule and uh, then they will continue with the el map elimination and um, the uh, the last map standing so to say will be played first and then it's just a uh, loser's pick from this uh, remaining five uh, maps uh, map pool so and looks like uh, jungle basin was one of those five maps and that's why we see a ZVT on it here right now but I think ZVT on jungle basin is still better than ZVT for example on um Steps of War. And uh, one other thing I was wanted I wanted to talk about, I'm uh, also a little bit disappointed that we still see the old version of um, Jungle Basin, not the new version with this um, Gold Mineral Expansion added here in this area, or the Gold Mineral Expansion added here in that area as well. And what do we see um, by chance? He is going for um, very fast hatchery, Queen number 1 should pop out here, Queen number 2 should pop out here at the natural. Let us watch the Queen. Boom! There we go. And um, what is uh, Angry doing? So after having out a barracks number one, barracks number two, now going for the command center right away. And this time he is following up with the third barracks, not even thinking about to go for a refinery right away. So very barracks oriented play. And there we see barracks number four. So he's now using the build he was using in game number one and in game number two, especially on Zanaga Kevin. So this was a very uh, successful build because of all those barracks very early on he was able to apply uh, pressure uh, non-stop of course because of the map architecture of Jungle Basin and those uh, double barracks opening uh, openings with these um, marines and bunker builds are not that effective because um, this in the early game this hatchery is uh, pretty much secure of course later on there will be the entrance with the destructible rocks but that's basically about it there we see chance just uh, in case Getting up a spine crawler, one spine crawler, of course, is no big deal. Of course, you do not want to make too many spine crawlers because if uh, the your opponent, and this is just not only working for TVZ here on Jungle Basin, this is a general aspect. If you're playing on the map with two uh, entrances to your base or to your uh, base areas in general and you build too many static defenses like the spine crawler, even though you can move around with the spine crawler, it's still uh, considered a static defense. Um, taking 12 seconds to borrow is quite a long time scan here showing us absolutely nothing and this is not a Zerg player uh, this is not a Terran or a Protoss player and when you want to scan a Zerg player you actually need to scan this main base <laughs> or his natural and um, if you see too many static defenses from your opponent um, or your opponent sees too many st static defenses in your base he will abuse it he will attack where those static defenses currently not are and if he's building too many static defenses at entrance number one and entrance number two just um, get another expansion because you know ah your opponent can't move out because he just invested all his money into the static defenses so pro tip of the day here uh, by Special Andre. Good luck and have fun with that. Anyway, so we see Angry and now the game is lagging as Trorion, uh, this nice admin guy was lagging but looks like not anymore. So looks like Angry wants to go for its push here but no, not just yet. 
Ah, uh, apparently he's moving out anyway, even though Stim will finish, uh, only be finished in the next 60 seconds. Looks like he wants to avoid those banings, doing more scans, and um, with those scans he was able to take out um, lots of creep tumors, but this... Um, important creep tumor is still alive now chuka 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 choo choo we see 16 SCVs in the mix as well and this will be the perfect timing before those bane lengths will be finished now the marines are in here queen number one going down queen number two going down now he's sending all of his drones all of his SCVs as well but the bane lengths has already uh, the bane lengths already died and now he decided interesting enough to go for two muters but two muters is not what you want to go for you want to go for the bane lengths instead so um, the bane Link timing was not the best. On the other hand, the timing by Angry uh, with his marines was the best. Now the stim is finished. He's stimming with his marines, just killing all of those drones, and we should see a GG and even a red plate uh, by um, chance right now. So congratulations, Angry, with this uh, two base for a barracks timing push. Um, he was able to take this game right away. And what's really interesting, I was uh, uh, before he was attacking, I was saying. Oh, okay, um, he's moving out before the stim is finished, but uh, more importantly, he was moving out before the bailings were finished. Uh, we just saw the first two bailings being moved in as he was uh, moving up the ramp, so this was actually the perfect time he could uh, have gone for. And that's why he won this game number 5 in this best of 5 series, so congratulations to the $20 prize, even though the, the prize were on the US. Uh, Craft Cup tournament is not that big. It is uh, still the Craft Cup. The Craft Cup is uh, considered a very good tournament. We saw players like Optic Zero, like this is Jimmy, like All About You. Um, winning those tournaments, playing in those tournaments, and uh, just because of the fact that we have the Team Liquid Open running at the same time most of the time, there are not that many well-known uh, participants, but Angry and Get Sounds showed us some nice five games. I'm really happy that I was able to, can, uh, to cast those five games, and, um... Congratulations, Angry, taking the $20 prize pool, taking the series, taking the finals, and taking Craft Cup number 25. In a couple of years, he can even tell about this, children. So, you know, little Jake, your daddy once won the Craft Cup on the US service number 25, and this will a story. This will be a story told by generations. But enough with the smack talk. Uh, congratulations to Angry. Just playing some music now for the moment. Um, I will be doing something on the stream still. Maybe lettering. Maybe lettering Zerk. Maybe lettering Protoss. Or just casting some more stuff. I will have. I will need some minutes to figure it out. Meanwhile, uh, enjoy some music here. I played the song already, but I like the song so much. So here we go once again with Hypnotized. I catch your eye. 